Welcome back to Remember Me, Part 11. Our only truth is our sorrow, Alphonse de la Morten. Basically, it's now Chapter 7, I think, I forgot, uh, or 6. No, it's Chapter 6. And yes, we start uh, again with Neelin spazzing in her own ego. She's trying to, she's trying to comprehend the plot, but uh, it's taking a lot of effort. Yes. That's not quite working out for her. She was mo she's moving with a purpose. What kind of twisted game oh, is she playing? So again, uh, having discovered that she's supposedly the daughter of uh, the the people in charge of Memorize, she's trying to think, oh, maybe I just sabotage me or some shit. But she thinks, oh, but he kind of also saved me, so I'm not sure what to think about it. So for now on, she's gonna go with the she's gonna go with the mission and think about it along the way. Eating my past to create a better future. But don't you see, Pedro? Changing the future changes the past. <sighs> Seriously, where they think they, they even thought about that? Hey, so, uh, quite, honest question, Dweb, since you're the expert. Hmm? Uh, has there any been any episode of Doctor Who that tried to argue that changing the future changes the past? Um, well, I haven't been watching it recently. But, I mean, considering that's the how... problem, Pedro. Doctor Who approaches uh, time time travel in a complete personal way. It's the whole meme about wibbly wobbly timey wimey ball. It's because <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, doesn't uh, um, think of timelines as straight lines, more like a conglomerate or stuff, like a, uh, a, a nod, like a, sorry, a snarl of things. So basically there's no such thing as, as a original timeline that gets altered. Everything changes constantly. Nilen. I yeah. feel like chatting right now. Well, excuse me, princess. West is still locked up. Dr. Sebastian Quaid has him under a special security protocol. Find him and free him. Let's get this straight. I'm doing this for bad request, not for the cause. Because you don't remember the request is basically kneeling spam boy which showed up in chapter two. The right. There, you'll understand everything. Please understand. I hope so. <laughs> so basically, no, but basically he's talking about the reconversion project. Which we'll see basically once we'll get uh, in the basement of La Bastille, which raises the real question: Why Nilin didn't clear this place immediately when she got into La Bastille itself before? You know, because she went to La Bastille, took off Madame, you know, instigated the revolt, then went off to memorize, and then came back here. Because plot too. No, I get, I get it. They wanted this episodic nature, but the sequence of event, in a sense of moving from place to place. Uh, also, those things are gonna give off. me seizures. <laughs> yeah, again, it's the those the, now for these first uh, like couple of seconds, you just need to survive because there's no light source uh, and you don't have your uh, power up ready. So oh, you just great. need to wait Why for the elevator. Hold on, you need to for the elevator to show up, uh, which will be any second now, and uh, basically use its light source. Uh, to basically see the leapers. My personal tactic is run into the elevator so that will lure them inside him so he cannot uh, hide in the dark. Alone yeah, in I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say lure them in the elevator, run out, shut them in it. <laughs> Sorry, no. Alright, let's press the elevator and pay attention to the old, you know, uh, scenery. Mm-hmm. Then we have a lift. Must be a malfunction. I mean, it says that there are two people. Where am I, exactly? Where the most promising patients were sent to serve as guinea pigs. I'm back here. And it's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Basically, uh, at the start of the game, Lilin was exactly in this place. We're actually going to see later the sequence, uh, the, 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 the corridor. Actually, in the next part, we'll see the corridor of where she started the game, pretty much. Have what I am... Do... Go ahead, Weebs. No, no, sorry, Weebs. Um, have I mentioned... Um, have I mentioned that I don't really think that the... Um, that, that, 
I don't think that, I don't think they really blended the two styles of soundtrack they're going for here very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I think you mentioned, but it's a good thing of reminder again. The whole John Williams against uh, uh, Junkie thing. It's I like, understand, it's like, it's, but I personally don't mind. It's like the it's like the guy can't decide whether he's John Williams or Daft Punk. Actually, that's supposed to be quote unquote intentional in order to reflect. Uh, the glitchy and uh, schizophrenic nature of the game, supposedly. Anyway, I'd have thought, I'd have thought do... it had mashed them. I'd have thought oh. it had blended both scores together, not like have them, not like have some tracks be just orchestral and the other tracks be just electronic. What we need to do now is uh, basically to get the bad request is personal effects by scrolling. So basically, there you go. And here we get the, basically go, uh, the last. Um, your power up for the spam. What it does is it, it literally picks energy sources from buttons and transfers to compatible buttons, which are used for giving energy to like doors or something. Go ahead, Shiro. I was just gonna say, I mean, in the hands of the right people, um, a diverse and genre mix soundtrack can work. And I mean, we have Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. And another, and another game, for example, Dweebs is Killer Instinct. Mick Gordon did a fantastic job blending, uh, you know, heavy, heavy rock or and other themes with instead more classical stuff. Right. Well, I haven't listened to Total Instinct score, so... You will listen in soon enough, let's just say that. I'll be doing plenty of that when we get to Doom 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's how it works. You're supposed to open the door, but for a cool uh, extra, you you can just give it power again, move a bit more of those personal effects, which, is, for example, this one is not interesting, until you get Neelin's personal effects. Uh, normally, you will get like a sad patch here, but since, again, the New Game Plus stuff was already got it, I just showcased for people who may missed it. There we go. Now, another cool mechanic, as uh, we're about to say, is that shooting the pig socket, you can do it through windows because, again, it's all data that traverses stuff. So you can you can use windows to your advantage and open doors that are basically lock you inside of stuff. So I is the pig here, socket like a sniper rifle? No, you you aim it normally, just like the spammer, uh, so like a standard uh, gun type weapon. But you can shoot it uh, still very far. Anyway, this also is telling you that Scylla is actually, uh, you know, shutting down the reconversion project. But here's the thing: Doctor Quaid would probably not take that well. But we'll have to see when we'll actually. Oh, there's something. Uh, we'll actually see when we'll get um, to him or to the basement itself. For now, let's just open the doors and see where they lead us to. Okay. Well, because I'm not playing this game then. Searching. Please be patient. Searching. Yeah, what I need to do is to go a bit in the middle like that. There you go. I'll be patient if you stop repeating that stuff, Mr. Yeah, computer. every three seconds <laughs> as well. But... Uh, uh, there you go, sir. Yeah. yeah. It's only two. Sorry, Teo, you're cutting out. All right. Anyway, that's bad request is sell. We need to get to him. All right. Okay. Seems to be better now. Okay. Sure, it did. <laughs> In case you forgot, Waves, basically his last name is a reference to the protagonist of Total Recall. Right, well, Quaid. Yeah. He's completely lost it. I know, right? Alright, see if we can free our fat number one fan. Have you guys seen Total Recall? I did. Uh, only Neil? the original and read uh, the novel. Neil, it's me, your number one fan. We're going to get you out of here. Uh, oops. You are not you. You are me. No shit. <laughs> anyway, let's jump off because the drone is gonna get us. There you go. 
Unfortunately, that means we need to fight a couple of more enemies. Enjoy! So a number of those guys with electric armor. Yay. Oh boy. What fun. There you go, but in doing that process, he actually unlocked the button for the door that we'll need to use later after the fight. Uh, sir, we could have just gone in another way, you know. <laughs> oh, whatever. Kill her! Ouch. Yeah, again, first thing first, uh, for now, neutralizes the leapers, then go after the guy. And there you go, since I integrated in my combo, I also showcase uh, at least real sure you can. The other two DLC moves uh, shows up, I forgot when, but I get to showcase, not as much as frequently, though. No, you could just Let open the in. door. Yeah, he was like, I can't enter. Alright, time for the last <laughs> of our power-ups. Uh, boss, and we... There you go, the camo. It basically makes Nilin invisible, so we can sneak around the guy and uh, stealth kill him in one hit. Approach your force from the back and uh, do that. Unfortunately, you can do this only to uh, the enforcer unit because ob obviously the leapers have uh, their senses corrupted, so they're kind of immune to the um, finishing move. But this is a great help to kill in one hit those guys with the uh, electric armor. So basically, just be sure to balance your combos to refill the power up uh, uh, frequently if you find yourself in a situation with a lot of dudes with electric armor. <laughs> Ow. So, uh, no, there you go, Dweebs. Now I'm using the. I was using the um, healing combo that I customized completely yeah, yeah. with healing power ups. So. On top of French games, by the way, guess what, Teo? Yeah. In preparation for uh, uh, your eventual uh, let's play of it, I was uh, playing Heavy Rain on the PS4 uh, today, and uh, I, I, I forgot about this. I have to tell you about this. Okay, have you ever? I actually played the game, by the way. Not on my own, but I saw the diverse play for a week without ah, okay. the option. Because I'm gonna have to give you a little. Let's just say there's a QTE. That was broken in the original PS3 release. It never got fixed with the 2.0 patch, and you'd think in the PS4 remaster they would fix that, but no. But the no. The, the, basically, the, I'm talking about the bear trial, aka okay, where you're the car where you're supposed to okay. run against traffic. Let's just say there's a particular QTE that's broken. That uh, if you don't know in in beforehand how exactly it's broken, how to get around it. You're always going to fail, regardless of that. Not, uh, and you might be wondering. Well, it's not like uh, it's not like the game will instantly kill you if you miss one kitty. No, it's not. The problem is that there's a trophy for getting that trial done perfectly. And yes. let's just, and, and as you can probably guess, a lot of people for hours were trying to find to 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 to, to, to give a basic idea. A, Q, a certain QTE is reversed. Well, you're supposed to press right, or rather tilt the successes to the right, but what you have to actually do is tilt left, even though it's so completely counterintuitive. Uh, there's, like, uh, it's basically a complete fucked up QTE that nobody's gonna get it the first time, unless for a complete luck. Bad is being transferred. Scramble the mm. distribution system. So, Alright, now we need to chase um, the cell that contains that request. Unfortunately, it's moving pretty much randomly, so we need kind of to adjust uh, the movement of the cells in our favor. Of course, I gotta ask, other than Nilin, are there any are any of the other actors, uh, f like French people trying to sound American? Wait, isn't Nilin played by a Welsh actress? A Welsh person. Yeah, no, what I meant was uh, other Actually, than... Actually, her heritage seems Nilin. to be very diverse. <laughs> Anyway, to answer your question, I don't know, because especially because almost all of the voice actors are pretty much unknown people in the scene of the, um, of the voice acting. So I can, I'm not sure. Exactly. Et, Eteo, Eteo. Yes? Maybe one day, maybe one day level 5 can buy Dotna, then finally make Remember Me 2 with Welsh, full of Welsh people. <laughs> <laughs> a, Capcom a Capcom published game made by level 5. Well, I'll remember too. Uh, um, Hino has a great relationship with Capcom, so maybe. 
I got it. I got it. The sequel will be set in Neo Cardiff and. Um... Neo Cardiff. No, no, Neo London, please. <laughs> yeah, Neo Cardiff. Neo and, Old uh... England. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, either Neo London or Neo Cardiff or whatever, and. Um, you know, and stuff, stuff will happen, and there'll probably be jokes about Welsh signs and stuff. And sheep stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, that could be that could be a. You've uh, got to read the signs first before you can make jokes yeah. out of them. The sheep will be the sheep. I got it, guys. Sheep will be the code name of the enemies you face. <laughs> All right, we're sheep. getting it. <laughs> oh my God! It's the sheep. Run! It'll be like that that movie. Like I can't. <laughs> what have they done to you? No. No That's what they were preparing for you. Basically, in case you haven't noticed, but he only has like 27% of his original memory, so now he's pretty much in a vegetative state. It's the only mm. way. Excuse me, brother. This time I'm going into my head without your permission. Unfortunately. So true. And there we are. But unfortunately, there's. Pretty much, that's not that much that we can use. Ray steals some stuff, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, his mind was uh, completely gone. Unfortunately, since he doesn't have pretty much anything left, the system will re automatically react and uh, discards him, which means uh, he's gonna be throwing the dump pretty much. Don't worry, we'll see him again before the end of the chapter. I gotta be honest though, I'm having a hard time taking this scene that much all that seriously because this, the guy's name is literally bad bad, bad, bad request bad request i mean that'd be like it's, it's because it's because of the game doing all these terms in a sense that they are references to computer or technological stuff with the matrix all right in part uh, 12 we'll finish chapter 6 see ya see ya everybody see ya